Okay, so uh, my name is Willy Kimani. I'm the Chief Commercial Officer of uh, Never Supermarket. We are happy that you are here today to launch our 72nd uh, store. Uh, none, no other Kenyan retailer has been to that number. And it's all not only 72, but it's also number three in Eldoret. A very important milestone for us. We still want to add two more stores in Eldoret. We believe in Eldoret. We believe in creating employment even during these harsh times when the retail industry somehow seems to have one or two challenges. We believe we have the right mixture. Our, our, our management style, our strategy, all earmarked to make sure that we do not go any other different way, but to ensure that at the end of the day, uh, we have a local supermarket chain that can be able to stand and say, indeed, Kenyans can come out and actually do a proper Kenyan retail store that can be able to talk on behalf of the nation. We are a hard, hard working nation. It's been a hard time during COVID, but even during that particular period, we've been able to add more than 16 stores. So we are happy that you are continuing with that procedure and we shall actually continue to do so. So today we open a store which is actually on um, two floors. Uh, a big concentration on fresh, uh, quite a big investment. We have actually employed more than 120 people directly, uh, which means within this particular region, we have been able to absorb people who we now, as a national supermarket, are able to take across the country. And apart from that, indirectly, we believe that we, from where our suppliers have to add the merchandising team, the trucks that have to now continue to supply this store, we believe at least we have employed at least 300 people uh, uh, indirectly. One, I'll start uh, with Why Eldoret. <coughs> Why Eldoret? This, this town is buzzing. Eldoret is actually more of a center, and uh, you'll actually find from our research, you've actually realized that it's not only Eldoret actually serves more of even the, the smaller towns, and people come in and actually do their shopping and actually exit out. So, our, our, our survey shows that indeed we are headed in the right direction. Eldoret is still underserved. We have other areas, especially in the estates, that are still underserved, and we shall be coming there. The COVID period was a challenge. Eh? As you can imagine, uh, the first time when COVID was announced, there was panic buying. But what, uh, when someone buys two soaps, there's one soap that someone can say is because uh, I have to punch the load. But at the same time, they will not use the two soaps. Atasama in COVID, it's only one soap anyway. <coughs> or tissue. So when you look at all those things, what we ended up is a, a very big spike, spike, and then the number started to plateau. But with time, what you have actually seen is that business has now started coming up normal. The Kenyan resilience is actually very, is something to write home about. So the modern trade detail, I think, has actually been able to grow uh, leap and bound even during uh, the COVID period. So let me speak about more about Naiva. So why, <coughs> sorry, just in this town alone, we have had uh, three big um, chains who have come in and uh, four, four chains. Uh, who have actually been in this town and they're no longer in this town and they're no longer trading. We have learned about the mistakes. We have seen what exactly needs to be done. The focus on supplier, the focus on customer, proper corporate governance, trying to make sure that each and every individual store makes sense. If a store in Naivas does not make sense, we shall shut it down. We shall not shy to open the 72nd branch again because you have closed one more because for us to grow we believe every individual unit zion mall as we have actually opened the store it has to be profitable on its own not just looking at the overall profitability of our business and apart from that we actually just got uh, uh, investors who came on board amethyst and with that proper backing of ifc uh, 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 and the likes who have actually all come in and what they are actually doing is helping us to also structure the business in even a better way. So we have a strong corporate governance culture that we have actually embraced. We are taking our retail and corporate strategy quite okay. And more so, we, we, we have learnings by the others that says, they did this, this went wrong. They did this, this went right. And we also have competitors, international competitors, who have actually come with all sorts of um, push and all that, and you're understanding and you're actually taking the good from them and you're also taking back the Kenyan spirit that this is our 
market and we know our market and we are going to win in this particular market.